today's Sunday school let's all stand up join our hands close our eyes and let's pray Jesus we thank you for this beautiful day thank you for bringing us to our Sunday school class help us to learn from your word and help us to be more like you Jesus we ask this small prayer in your precious name Amen and all God's children, at the count of three, let's shout, Jesus! One, two, three! Jesus! Very good. Give yourselves a clap and please sit down. Children, do you know, in today's story, I'm going to tell you about two small boys who helped their mother. So there was a lady and she was the mother of these two sons and they were very poor and this mother was very sad. So when you looked at her face, her face was very sad. She was not smiling. She was not happy, but she was very troubled. Do you know why she was troubled? The reason was because she had no food in the house and she did not have any money to go and buy any food and she was very worried about her two sons. What was she going to feed them? What was she going to eat? So then the lady, she decided, I'm going to go to Elisha and I'm going to ask Elisha to help me. Now, who was Elisha? Elisha was a prophet of God and Elisha loved God and God used to speak to all the people through Elisha. So this lady went to Elisha and she told Elisha, Elisha, I have no food. What am I going to feed my children? I don't have any money. How am I going to buy anything? I've already borrowed money from other people. How am I going to pay them back? So she was very, very worried. But Elisha, he trusted in God. And Elisha told her exactly what she should do. Do you know what she did? The lady went back home quickly. And then she called her two sons. And she said, you have to help me. And she told them, go to all the neighbor's houses and ask them for pots, for pictures, for jars, for jugs and all these four things are containers in which you can store any kind of liquid. So you can store oil, you can store water, you can store anything that is a liquid. So she called them and she told them, now you go. So they went running, 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 running. Some of one of them went this side and one of them went that side and they started knocking on everybody's door saying knock, 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 knock. And when the people opened the door, they asked them, can you please give us any of your pots, your pictures, your jars, your jugs? And they would carry it and they would run back to their house and they would leave it in their house and then they would run back and they would go to the next neighbor and they would go knock, 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 knock and they would go on collecting. And like that, they collected a lot of pots, a lot of pictures, a lot of jugs, a lot of jars and then they brought everything to their house. You know what the mother did then? The mother asked them to keep everything inside the house and she went and she closed the door. And after she closed the door, she had a small jug in which she had very little oil. She took that jug of oil and she started pouring it into all the pots that were collected into all the jars 
that were collected, into all the jugs that were collected, and in all the pitchers that were collected. And she kept filling, filling, filling. And that little oil in the bottle miraculously filled all the vessels that they had collected. And it did not run out till every vessel that they collected was filled. And it was like swoosh. One pot filled, put it to the side. Shh. Second pot filled, put it to the other side. Like that they filled all of the vessels. And then they went and they sold all the oil that was there. And they got money. And they were able to buy food. They were able to pay their bills. They were able to pay the people from whom they took money. And God did a big miracle in their lives. But think about the children. They were part of this full story because they helped their mother in going and collecting all the pictures and pots. And they didn't stop with one or two. They, did, they collected lots and lots and lots. That is why so many got filled and they were able to sell so much of oil and get so much of money. So children, today... We also are small, but we can help our family. We can help our parents. So this week, you can take a cloth and you can dust everything in the house to help your mother. Or you could set the table for lunch or for dinner. You could put the plates, you could put the glasses, you could fill the water in the glasses to drink. So that way, you can do something that will help them. So every day you have seven days till we have the next Sunday school class. So every day you think of one thing that you can do and you should do it very well because God will bless what you are doing and you will be blessed by God and you will be very happy and your parents also will be very happy. So we can think of many things. You can think of dusting. You can think of sweeping the ground. You could think of filling the water bottles. You could think of putting the plates on the table. Or every day after everybody eats, you can collect the plates and put them in the sink. So you can decide whatever you want to do. And you can do that so that they will be happy and you will be blessed. Let's open our Bibles to 1 Corinthians 3, 9. We are God's workers working together. Let's repeat it one more time. 1 Corinthians 3, 9. We are God's workers working together. Children, show me your Bible. Let's read 1 Corinthians 3, 9. We are God's workers working together. One more time. Let's open our Bibles. 1 Corinthians 3, 9. We are God's workers working together. Very good. Children, let's all stand up. Let's join our hands. Close our eyes and let's pray. Jesus, we thank you for this beautiful lesson that you taught us. Help us to be like those little children who help their mother. Help us during the week to help our parents. Jesus bless us and help us in everything that we do. Keep us safe. We give you all the glory. In Jesus name. Amen.